Today I'll show you how to make a butter board. Mmm, butter. <laughs> Hi, I'm Soon and I'm a food geek. So I've been watching videos on TikTok and they're about butter, specifically butter boards. Who says there aren't something for everyone on there? <laughs> What's a butter board? Well, that's um, a board with butter on it and a lot more, but the staple is butter, flaky salt and lemon zest. After that, you can totally freestyle it and make your own version of it. I'm going to be trying out something inspired by Italian cuisine, which is something that I really love. No, it's not anything authentic Italian, so you can put that it's not the right way stick back in your pants. And of course, I will be eating it with a fantastic artisan sourdough bread that I've made myself. That is the perfect companion for butter, right? If you'd like to support the channel, please consider joining my Patreon. You can also buy some merch or use the super thanks or use the links in the description for tools and ingredients. Those were the words. This is the recipe-ish. There's a link in the description for the recipe on my website. Start by heating your oven to 150 degrees Celsius, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Gather your ingredients. 250 grams or two sticks of butter. Red chili flakes. Flaky sea salt. I'm using molten. Some edible flowers. Liquid honey. And some dried oregano. Then you need to prepare a few things. Slice some sourdough bread. If you want to know how to bake some, you can use my very simple master recipe. The link is in the card above. Says the lemon. <laughs> yes, it is a lemon. It's just organic. I'm chopping the zest into smaller pieces since my zester is giving me these long strands. Then slice three cloves of garlic thinly. and mandolin half an onion. Cut the slices in half and separate them. Grab a branch of rosemary, put in the oven for two minutes. Then strip the leaves off the branch. I like to remove the end, but you don't have to, it's edible. Then pick the top leaves off a basil plant. Grab the pretty ones. Heat a skillet to 140 degrees Celsius, 280 degrees Fahrenheit, or in plain speak, medium high. Add some olive oil. Fry the garlic slices on both sides until they're colored and crisp. Drain excess oil off the garlic crisps. I made a pencil with two erasers. It was pointless. It's time to make the board. Grab a pretty serving board and your butter. Sprinkle sea salt generously over the butter. And then all of the lemon zest. Make sure it gets all over the butter. You want people to be able to get both salt and zest in each bite. Drizzle some honey on top. Sprinkle as many red chili flakes as you dare. All of the garlic crisps.
all of the rosemary. And a generous amount of dried oregano. I also like to add a bit of freshly ground pepper on top. Then add the onions, as many or as few as you like. Garnish with some basil leaves. And make a real purdy with some flowers. And now, what we've all been waiting for, <laughs> or at least me, is the eating of the butter. And while I eat some more butter, you can see how gorgeous this board looks. Jazam! <laughs> okay, doesn't that just look amazing? It also tastes absolutely crazy good. I wouldn't recommend this for a school night, but for having people over, it would be a fantastic appetizer and I'm sure something to kick off the conversation. You may want to provide everyone with a butter knife, unless you're into double dipping. Did, did you just double dip that shit? People do butter boards, both savory and sweet, I've come up with some ideas that I've put in the recipe on my website. Tell me in the comments what you think would be the best combination of things to eat on a butterboard. Please like, comment and subscribe, it really helps the channel. I hope you learned something today, see you next time. Cool.